Well, today's Wednesday, it's the uh, 3rd of April 2024, and we're at the airport again. Uh, no, no, we're not on our jollies, we're not off on another trip. We're here uh, to meet Serena and her family, who should be arriving in the next five or ten minutes. And uh, we've just come to the airport, we've just parked up. Seems to be very busy, the, the car park's pretty full, I don't know why that is. Uh, we've ended up having to park on the fifth floor. Um, partly because some of the floors are used by renter cars. Anyway, we're just going to march off into the terminal and then uh, we'll find out whether they've landed or not. We've still got another floor to go down. There wasn't too much traffic on the road, but looking at the, uh, the flights that were coming in, lots of flights coming in, so how busy is the airport going to be? We'll soon find out. One more escalator to go down. I'll let you see where we're going. So when we come, we always park in the car park. It's just the easiest thing to do. A lot of people um, try to avoid pain and, and park on the hard shoulder of the motorway. And it's really quite dangerous. Been a lot of fuss about that. Um, it's just really to save a few coppers. Parking here is not very expensive. So when you go into the car park, you pick up a ticket and then uh, you pay at one of these machines. And you can pay with a card or you can pay with coins, cash, notes. They don't accept very big notes though. If you do have an issue, then there's a, someone on duty here and they will sort you out. If you've got a long wait, there's a little cafe here. I think they're probably closing up now though. So I'm going to go straight into the terminal. Didn't mean to meet anybody here for a while, have we? No, we've been Alara. on our trips too much. Yeah, well, Lara we saw, yeah. Other thing I noticed as we were driving in was some coaches. And, uh, well, that's just another indication that the holiday season started and the coaches are here to take people away to their holiday destination. If you've decided to use one of the local buses to take you to different parts of the island, they've now started and uh, they take you to different corners of the island. There's the A11 bus. A11 bus will take you all the way to Camp de Mar if you want to, but stopping in Place like Palmanova, uh, Magaluf, uh, Santa Ponza Baguera, Camp de Mar is as far as it goes. So if you wanted to get to Andrach, uh, well, you can get to Camp de Mar with that one, and then you find a means of getting from there. Camp de Mar is a little bit small, so um, it might be a bit more tricky. so often here that these moving walkways are not working. We've got the season starting now and uh, moving walkways not work working. Over there you've got taxis. Taxis never really a problem here in uh, Palmer. There's always a big queue of them there pretty much 24 hours a day. Certainly we've come in late at night and there's been plenty of taxis. You can see a bit further on that's where the coaches are. Going into the terminal now. It's changed a lot over the last year or two, and they're still doing lots of work, so it may look a little bit different from the last time you were here. It seems very dark. It's a bit dark. This is the main entrance. We'll just look, we're looking for a flight from this Bristol. It is, and it says they're coming out of sea. In fact, everything, everyone comes out of sea, so we don't really have to worry about that. It used to be that there was an A, B, C, D, E. Can't remember. There was lots of them, all the way up and down here. But um, now it's just all coming out of one area, and it's this central area. So, just a 
to wait here a bit now. See what happens. So they landed yet or not? A few other people the here. Board, Can I have a look at the board, see if they've landed? It didn't say, it just says see. If you need a coffee. There's a coffee place here. This one's got a bit more information besides C and yeah, our Bristol flight has landed and uh, on Bristol, about halfway up the board, just less than halfway up the board and there's lots more planes yet to come in this evening. Madrid and Barcelona delayed. Most of the flights are on time, most of them. Uh, there is another one from Bristol which is delayed, which is the EasyJet flight. Uh, she's delayed by about half an hour, I think. I think there's another EasyJet flight due in as so well. When I was looking at the Bristol board, there were two EasyJets and one Ryanair coming in this evening. Leon says just landed. Just landed. So it's a huge airport all the way down there, look. It's down here. We're right smack bang in the middle. Well, we're going to wait here and, uh, well, I'll put the camera back on if I've got anything else to report. Say hi, camera. Hello. Where are we going? Seeing Nan and Granddad. In? On a big aeroplane. Where, where though? In my York. Good girl. We've just been up here, haven't we? Yeah, we're going that way because that's where the aeroplane will be. Savannah. Savannah. It's not that busy. Obviously, with a coffee. Taken after my mum and dad. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. Okay. We're so going to see Hi, everybody. We're going to see Nana and Granddad today. Where are we? Uh, at the airport still, but we're going on a plane now. We're ready to go and see you, Nana and Granddad. Where are we going today? Vamos a Mallorca! So now where are we going? Um, I'm from that one. Yeah. All the day. We're nearly at our, our gate. Number 16. Number 16. We're nearly there. Oh. That's cool, isn't it? There we are, we're off the plane now. Luna, are we heading to the plane? Yeah. yeah. Manuel, por favor. Gracias. Oh. Say what, Luna, it's not cold out here, is it? No. It's nice. It's a little bit. Yeah. And there's our plane. No, actually, that's our plane over there. I think that one's going to Barcelona. I think that one's going faster. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Hello. Hello. We're out to get on the plane, so I'll record again when we get back on. been reports in the press recently about uh, 
the delays of getting through the airport. I'm not sure whether that's going to affect them. We'll find out when they come through. But certainly the flight, their flight was not delayed at all. Everything on time, they've landed on time. And uh, I'm sure the girls are going to be very, very excited. I was just standing here waiting for them to come and uh, the gentleman, obviously German, has just come up to us, didn't appear to speak any English at all, but said, video, video, Sakoma. <laughs> and uh, it's really nice, um, we're not just watched by people in the UK, uh, the videos are watched all over the world, and uh, quite a lot from Germany, quite a lot from different Scandinavian countries, Sweden in particular, uh, all over the world, I've had messages from Australia, from America, and uh, just everywhere. I'm still waiting. Uh, you can see there's lots of people coming through, but not our family yet. Um, obviously, flights from Germany and uh, elsewhere. Our niece is getting a bit impatient. She's getting closer to, closer to the door. She'll be through it if she goes any further. Crowds are passing through now, lots and lots of people coming through. Uh, Serena's just sent a message through to say that uh, it's very, very slow going through passport control. Um, so uh, we might be waiting a while longer. At the moment, it's only passport control that they've got to go through. Uh, coming the end of the year, they're going to have to go and have uh, biometrics, so you're going to have to have your photograph taken and uh, fingerprints done. So that's coming later on this year, after the summer season's finished, so if you're coming out for the summer, don't need to worry about that. But uh, they're going to trial it, I think, uh, for the autumn and winter season, see what happens then. And then next year, of course, we've got Etias coming in, which uh, adds another degree of complication to arriving here in Palmer. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting couple of years. Our flight's just come through from Shannon, and uh, there's still five or six more flights from the UK, from various airports, uh, coming through this evening. So, the Brits are coming. Vamos hacia allí. ¿Tú crees? Vamos a ver. Se van a por aquí, se van a aquí. Sal por la puerta, Luna. Sal por aquí. Well, look who's here. Have you been on that big airplane? Wow! Oh, it's a runner! <laughs> well, the waste was worth it. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Hello, Steve. How are you doing? Do you put a lot? You. Great, you need your shorts on, it's going to get hot this weekend. <laughs> come on, come on with Grandad. <laughs> well, we've landed safely and uh, we can now make our way to the car and on home. Uh, my car's been in for a service today so I was thinking we're going to have to, because uh, we need two cars, I was thinking we, I was going to have to go home in the taxi but uh, the car's sorted. And we can make our way home. And if you look up you'll see a lot of keys. It must be sponsored by all these car companies. Spot the key. Audi, BMW. Se van a parar, por favor. 
With us, please, Mrs. Savannah. <laughs> Savannah, para. Here they come. <laughs> Hello. Come on. Well, it's a bit dark in here, uh, but we've managed to get to the car and uh, we're going to head off home. Thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.